All right, back to Corpse Party. Chapter two, we're going in blind. Let's do it. New game. View the chapter two opening. Uh, I hope this is different from the chapter one opening. It's pretty long. At least we know how to skip things now. Oh yeah, this is different. Naomi, whew, I should just about do it. I hate being in charge of gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishuna, uh, Kishinuma. Freaking Kishinuma. <laughs> Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse. Oh, no, me. That is one pretty sight. Huh? What is it? Oh, what is that booty you got? <laughs> what? Yours is way cuter. Mine's all plump, like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> okay. You know, just typical girl talk, right? <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. <laughs> but of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Oh, it's too many. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. This is kind of sad, actually. Hmm? Well, that's depressing. <laughs> no. No. Chapter 02 Mish Shishido Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students Ayumi. Oh, she doesn't look good. Shinozaki. It's alright. Please, calm down. But you heard it too. Outside, her voice. I, I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It's prob It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Miss Shishido, wait. Don't leave us. Shinozaki. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everybody's safe, everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful though. No! Okay. <laughs> look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishiduma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Okay, so they can hear Naomi. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, 
I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Valor, thy name is Education. <laughs> Alright, so we are controlling Yui Shishido. We have no tools. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This looks like where we started last time, actually. Though, knowing how this place works, we could be in a different space. Oh, that's a pea bucket. This area is different, though. If I had to guess, I think things shift around a bit. Ooh. Hmm, there's something here. A crystal shining with a faint purple glow is nestled among the debris on the ground. Take it. Acquired power stone. Miss Yui? I think that really was a scream we heard. Hmm? Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby or no, probably an amethyst? Kishiduma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shirosaki's the one I asked for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well, then maybe I'll give it to, you, to her. Hmm. I think I should keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Nah, now's not the time for that. I really do think that was Nakashiba's voice we heard, though. I agree. I'm going to try finding her. But I need you to stay here with Shidozaki, okay? Okay. Like, now that I'm playing this, all I see is all these branching opportunities where I'm going to die horribly <laughs> if I make the wrong choice. Okay, so we know where she is. We could go straight for her, and I think I will. I'm actually going to head straight down there. Of course, I have to get across this. Last time I went inside this area, it's probably locked. Yeah, okay, so I have to find a way across that to get to the bathroom. Return home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. That reminds me. Poor Monet is all alone. She must be one hungry kitty by now. It must be her cat. Okay, well, let's go this way. Hmm, it's a key, isn't it? 3A. Okay. No teachers are allowed on the third floor. It's kind of odd. So we go in 3A or we can go into this room. Eh, this will be thorough. A disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet filling each shelf to overflowing. Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. This side alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turn to kidnapping. Oh yeah, I've read this one. I don't think it's any different. The findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies... Yeah. Authorities further revealed a male instructor. Bloody scissors. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific the incident it really was. So I think that right there was probably a choice between going through that room or not. Well, if it isn't the teacher, 
Are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming, and I've set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions, which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's scream emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream? That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred at another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Oh man, so if time travel is possible in this, I wonder if uh, our last chapter will involve changing everything that's happened up to this point. <laughs> well, you know, up to the point in the last, uh, it's just me guessing at an ending. Uh, with this phenomenon, phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when it's out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement. Kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. All appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. Huh. Uh oh. You might want to move. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damn corporeal? <laughs> uh, the ghosts are using, like, negative slang towards the people. You want to move? A an earthquake? Run! Oh. It's filled with knives, too. In all the world, the most vile and trustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Ugh, this really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You, you're you wrong. Ah. All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first, there's no other possible outcome. They all die meaningless deaths, just like you did. Or I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. <sighs> Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Spare. <laughs> Come again? Spare my students. What was that? 
please. I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know? When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day, forever. More. <laughs> Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Spare my students. Don't you harm a hair on their heads. Do you hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. Ugh. This is excruciating. I think my ribcage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing the, this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Everybody live. I love you all. Meanwhile, that was terrible. Whoa, another earthquake. I think it's over. What's wrong? We just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Shishido. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going. All right, all right already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure she, we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen, but no paper. Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Quick! Don't waste any time. Go rescue her! What? Oh, no. <laughs> what the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Shishido, where are you? I'm really worried. So we gotta go up to the third floor and go around. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection, custodian. Let's see. Oh. What, what the? Ow! Hmm. Well, we can't go in there. Well, that sucks. I was pretty sure that's where we were supposed to go. Don't do anything you'll regret. Think of your mother and your father. Remember their faces. You have only one life to live. Make it count. Do not waste the precious gift of existence. It's not right. Why would there be something like this on a flyer in an elementary school? It's like someone's trying to plant the thought of suicide into their heads. Yeah, seriously. Plus, who's going to kill themselves in here anyway? I'd rather find my way out. Yeah, these notes are changing.
Okay. Nothing changed there. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinozaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. <laughs> Not much. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki, famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2A29 uh, who isn't immediately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... Oh... We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. This was our first save point. And I think that other one was there too, yeah. They'll be like signal flares for Mochita and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Y yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But... If it makes her feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay. So, wait, that begs a question. How many candles have I seen? Some of them have been blown out. Like, at some point, these two are going to go to the infirmary, right? Because <laughs> there was a candle in there that wasn't lit. But then it got lit later? How confusing is this game? Does it really touch on all that? Like, does the candle get lit because the first two read that newspaper? Because that's what happened. And why would that be? Am I thinking too hard about it, or is that what's going to happen? <laughs> Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final way ray of hope. Entrance way. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. These are human bones. Oh god, no. Are you okay, Shidozaki? I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. Come on. We have to find Miss Shishido. Yeah. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Sa Shinozaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Alright already. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Byakudan Senior High School, Class 2-4, Kai Shimada. Kizami. Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Okay. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior... That's the same. 
Tomohiro Onkawa. Mizato Fukuroi. <laughs> Fukuroi. Roi. Yeah. Musa Shigawa Girls Middle School. Hikari uh, Kirigami. This is where the custodian was, wasn't it? Yeah. This was the note that taught us about the uh, ghost. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. No, no, no. Oh. Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. I hate you, sister. It hurts. So, I guess that skeleton uh, gave in to the pain and became an angry spirit. No. Still can't get in there. No, that one looks pretty nasty. Victim Memoirs, one of five. I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me, even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Oh, you're doing fine, dog. <laughs> there are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone. So there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. This is going to be the same, it seems. Okay. Oh, I got a student ID. Emi Kudo. Oh, there you go. The benefit of talking to things multiple times. Oh, well, this is sketchy. What, what the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hey, Shidozaki. My head is splitting. Are you, are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in here though, in the back. What, what the hell? Stay back! Don't scare me like that, jeez. You absolutely, positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Let's go look in his eyes. <laughs> Damn it, I looked, and now I can't look away. What the hell is up with his eyes? Come with me. What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinozaki, Miss Yui, Satoshi, is anyone there? 
Man, where the hell was it? Am I? Was I dreaming or something? I I can't move. Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? Yeah. What the? Who's? Oh. St stop. Dirt gravel from above. Being buried alive? Sh stop. The hell? I'm alive down here. You planning to suffocate me? May have chosen the wrong thing. My mouth is getting totally filled up. S stop. Stop. I can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Why? Who would... This can't be happening. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. That sounds terrible. Well, I screwed that up. <laughs> Oops. I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have listened to what she said. If I had to guess there, that spirit that I saw, it was a blue spirit, right? But when I looked into the eyes, it was like looking into an evil spirit. So maybe those eyes were the eyes of the person he ate. And they weren't quite so happy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just a little speculation. Uh, yeah, I screwed that one up. Hmm. Like, well, that would be easy to just continue on and find something that wasn't screwed up. I don't think I ever saved there either, which was kind of a mistake. I was trying to be quick about getting to uh, the teacher <laughs> before she died. I figured that maybe if you do too many things before you get there, it would cause some sort of problem. But, okay, we're going to stop this episode here, and I'll pick up where we left off later. Yep, later. <laughs>